we're celebrating the famed crossing from Boston to Cambridge that MIT made 100 years ago. We're going to be sailing from the Boston side over to the Cambridge side. This craft is carrying the CB for two, which was MIT's competitor in the 1993 International Human Powered Submarine Races. The Beaver School Spirit Award should go to the libraries. Congratulations. This is the Tech Pioneer Award, and the category is for the most innovative contribution. And for that award, the judges have decided to give that to the 2007 robot table. The Bosworth Award for beauty and elegant design goes to Time Spirit and the Masquerade of Power. There they are rappelling down from the bridge. My great-grandfather was Richard McLaren, who was president of MIT in 1916, so he was responsible for the move. We have 30 of us family members here that are great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. What an amazing visionary our grandfather was to foresee the role that technology would play in the world today. We have painted regions of the brain that have become active when you are engaged in, for example, language. When you are listening to music. The Da Vinci Award for Best Creativity and Wonder. A beautiful mind. Thank you. Everyone made it across safely. Nothing sank. The MIT spirit was out in full force. Are you the real, the, the well-known, world-famous Mrs. McCormick? Class of 1904, proud, go Tech! President Reif, MIT made President all... President Raphael Reif, uh, for President you. Raphael Reif, yes, yes. the 17th president. The 17th is right, yes, correct. Mr. President, MIT, my MIT education made all the difference in my life. It allowed me to understand the science that treated my husband's schizophrenia. It allowed me to understand the science that funded, that um, produced the birth control pill. I was the sole funder for that. I found, a week before the commencement address, I found a physics book that I had inadvertently ah. stolen from one of the libraries. I absolve you of your fault. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> With the 100th year activities and the overall strength of our ongoing relationships, I believe you affirmed Major Brooks' original hypothesis that MIT moved to Cambridge would be a blessing and not a burden. So let me just conclude by saying to President Reif, the McLaurin family, and to everyone who is a part of the MIT family, happy moving day, and in honor of the former mayor, by saying, please come, I can say we're glad you stayed.